Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your monthly reading, September 2022. Let's get some tarot cards. Um, for those who don't know my readings, they're very short to the point. I don't clarify. Um, I don't always, I go off a lot um, from the imagery, right, uh, to get the messages, so it's very intuitive. So if none of this appeals to you, click off. <laughs> so we're starting with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, there's something that you've um, had high hopes for that is actually not working out at all. You knew this, you were well aware uh, from a very long time. I think uh, maybe at least seven months, maybe, but I would say even more than that. I think you've known really, really clearly. It's like seeing the flags somehow. get more cards on this please what is this situation that didn't grow can you please show us was it in love it was in love page of cups it's regarding love messages um so either the nature of the messages or the absence of messages, but um, or the absence of warmth in the messages. It could also be um, let me I just wanna pull in I would like to pull more, I mean. Ace of Pentacles. This just came out for Aquarius. The strangest thing. It's like it's conflicting inf um, information. Conflicting messages um, about... It's a yes, it's a no. It's a hot, it's a cold. It's a... It's a I love you, I hate you. It's a... Um, I want to fuck you, I want to hit you. It's uh, all of that, right? So anyway, this this just... What is it? It's all of the above, maybe. So how can you position yourself through this? How can you even um, grow any feelings? Um, how can you trust? And, and um, I'm using the word trust here because usually the priestess relies on her intuition. So she trusts her intuition. So you need to trust that, you know, basically the person is... is wishy-washy and it could be all lies literally because how could you get um basically uh, a caress and a slap all at once right um also this person would have disregarded your messages um for the longest time uh, they would also not believe your messages if they came through because um because of who they are, they just don't trust anything. So no matter what you do, you try to do good, you try to you tell the truth, it'll never be the truth to them. So don't waste your saliva, your breath. It's a waste of time. So five of swords in reverse. So less conflict, but still conflictual. Page of pentacles, no offers made, and the high priest. So it could be a Taurus, um, it could also be a Virgo here for you. Uh, we're going to have a full moon in Pisces, so that's interesting. It will highlight the Virgo-Pisces axis, um, so it's very fitting here. I think you'll need to be extra discriminating Pisces about the real intentions of this person and the real... Um, at this point, I don't even want to say there's a real message behind it because um, it's like when you're saying too many things that conflict, then you're not saying anything. So to me, that's what it is. 
you know, um, this page of pentacles here, there's something about something about money here because we have three pentacles um, and the ace so someone has money someone uses money uh, as a means of manipulation they also use that as um, an excuse be really weary of that no matter what angle right just remember that money will always be I'm going to tell you the way it's coming up to me. Money is their devil. So they will bind you with money. So be extra careful. Extra careful with that. They will own you through money. I'm looking at the high priest. You have both the high priest and the high priestess here. So you do, we do have a power couple. We have something fairly successful, possibly. But remember that somehow, somewhere, the love dwindles. Money takes precedence over everything. Um, to the point that you get neglected. Uh, because things are not fruitful, because there's neglect here. And the emotions are neglected. That's what's pr pr primarily neglected to the profit of money. And the Five of Swords here, um, this is a different energy where you're not going to like me, Pisces, but you're not going to be able to voice your anger. You're not going to be able to voice your... Uh, your disagreements, you're not going to be able to, you know, if you raise a little bit of an argument, a fight, it'll be um, this energy, although it's somewhat positive, it's extremely authoritative, you know, almost as much as the emperor. Um, so, but it's, it's a very different kind of sort of, it's like a mind control energy, right? Because it's a spiritual energy. Um, so they could also control you not through money, but through what your beliefs are, what you value. Um, so if you value money, they'll control you like to the bone, uh, to the marrow, I should say. And um, they will also kind of play God here, um, tell you that they're that you're their goddess. Which, to a certain extent, is true. Because, um, and again, you won't like me, uh, but maybe you're cut out of the same cloth here. And maybe this is perfect, perfectly fitted for you. Maybe you find it your own. Um, in French, we say, y trouver son compte. It means you find your bliss somehow, or you find um, what it is that advantages you, or that, you know... Um, somewhat uh, corresponds to you i none of these words are what i'm looking for to describe the um, the precise french words i'm using but it doesn't matter it gives you an idea it's enough so um also want to point out that you have two pages so as much as these two people uh, really like to see themselves as a high priest and the high priestess uh, basically, they're just two young males, possibly masculine energy, you know, immature as fuck. Um, <laughs> and also uh, quite negative in essence, um, all, like residually, um, unfortunately, I'm calling you out as well, Pisces, but um, if this is you... <laughs> um, you definitely have um, some streak of, you know, nastiness here. Like, uh, these pages are not, um, first of all, they're not open. Uh, they're not open-minded at all. <laughs> no, not at all. 
They like to think they are, but they're not. And there's something really uh, wrong about them, right? They're in reverse. They're like, they're crooked. So there you go. Let's get some Oracle cards. One card, I should say. One message would be enough to top this off. Here, let's take this one. Starseed. What lights you up? Money. <laughs> For you. In this reading. There you go. You're attracted to money. I'm so sorry to tell you, Pisces, but... My God. If this page would have been upright, I would have said, okay, maybe... Maybe there's real emotions, like real emotions, but... Man, money is so present here, like as a as a means to an end here for everyone. <laughs> I'm happy though, you get the rose. <laughs> In the case, beauty and rugged health. At least you get uh, some form of um, <laughs> compensation. I do want to say there is some positive in this reading. Um, I'm pointing out the real dangers, but there are some beautiful things. Um, it's not all dark. Um, so what's really beautiful, and I need to point it out, the starseed energy is this spiritual couple. So that's that's a truth. Um, it's not to be uh, messed with, I know that, but these people are still incarnate, um, and maybe that's why you have the rose, um, it speaks of, you know, rugged health, and okay, so beauty for me is being uh, symbolized by the rose, the rose is a flower, it grows in the earth. So I think there's something um, quite physical about um, it's pointing to the fact that these two uh, characters are human just like everybody else um, <laughs> and that um, they have weaknesses, they have strengths, all of the above, right? And they're not perfect. No one is. So there's still um, at least a message here where I'm hearing bed of roses. That's beautiful. It's like you can lay in a bed of roses as I'm seeing this as a final rest. Um, I'm not suggesting death here, <clears throat> but I am suggesting um, putting something to rest. Anyway, it's not an obvious one. Um, it's a very split energy here. Split meaning uh, it has two, it, really a dark side and a luminous side. But the dark side needed to be pointed out and, and said, good night, thank you for being here.